guys and welcome to episode 5 of my Go.C Sharp How To series. Today we're going to create this 3D grass that is swaying softly in the wind. So let's get started. First up we are going to go to freestocktextures.com here and search for grass. Scroll down a bit until you find this image here. Click on that guy and click on download. Next, we're going to open this guy up in GIMP. Click on Convert. This will load up the image right here. Next, we're going to click on File, New. And we're going to create a new texture. It's going to be 1024 by 1024. And click on OK. Then click on the Rectangle tool up here. Make a selection here in the middle. Copy that. And press Ctrl V to paste this guy in. Next, I'm going to right click up here on the layer and click on Anchor Layer. Next, we're going to go to Layer, Scale Layer. In here, we're going to go to Percent. I'm going to make this to 200% and click on Scale. Next, we're going to go to Filters here, then to Artistic and to Cartoon. I want to make the mask radius a bit bigger. And set the percent black here to something like 0 0.5 around there and click on OK. Next, we're going to go to colors. We're going to go to brightness and contrast. And we're going to lower the contrast a bit. We want this to be a little bit soft on the eyes, and brightness should be a bit lower as well, something like that. And click on OK. Now we're going to export this image. Just gonna save this in my documents folder. I call this grass texture. Save that for now. We're also gonna need a gradient texture, so click on File and New. We can go with 512 by 512 and click on OK. Make sure we have black and white set here. We have the gradient tool. I'm gonna to drag from the top to the bottom be a bit more black on the top something like that i press enter and i will export this guy as gradient texture i'm also going to save this in my documents folder here and i click on export like so all right so we now have the images we need Next, we're going to open up Blender. Once Blender starts up, just click somewhere, select all the items here, and press delete. Next, press Shift A on the keyboard, go to Mesh here, and click on Plane. Press 1 on the numpad to go to Front View. Now press on R to rotate, press X, and type in 90, and press Enter and press G, and press Z, and press 1 to move it up one unit, and press Enter. Next we can zoom in a bit with the mouse wheel, press Tab to go into Edit Mode, select the two top vertices, press on M for Merge, and select at Center. Next select the vertices down here, and press G for Grab, and type in X, the x-axis and then type in 0 0.7 and press enter. Select this vertex here on the opposite corner and press G, X and minus 0 0.7 like so. Next we're going to go down here to the material properties and click on new. Then go down here to base color and drag this down a bit so we don't get it too bright. And select the green color over here. And in order to see this, go up here to the top and click on viewport shading. And we can see our green color here. It's still a little bit too bright. It's going to lower this a bit more. It's like something dark green. Something like that. Then go on File, Export, and select Wavefront OBJ. I'm going to save mine here as. Cross plane. 
with OBJ and click on export. All right. Next, let's go and fire up the Godot engine. In the Godot engine, click on 3D scene, rename the node to main, click on scene, save scene, click on create folder, and type in scenes here. And click on save. Next, we're going to create a scene for a grass tile. So click on scene, new scene, click on 3D scene, and rename this guy to grass tile here like so next right click the grass tile click on add channel node type in mesh and find the mesh instance in here and click on create rename this guy to grass blade next we need to save the scene here scene save scene as inside of the scenes folder and click on create folder and type in grass I can save this as grass tile.tsen. Next, go here to the grass folder, right click, click on new folder, and type in model. Right click this guy, click on open in file manager, and copy in the grass blade that you created in Blender earlier. I'm going to paste this guy in here, like so. And we're also going to create a new folder here. Call this textures. Right click this guy and open in file manager. I'm gonna copy in the grass texture and also the gradient texture we created. Like so. And they are now accessible here from within the Godot engine. Now click on the grass blade, click on mesh here, click on load, go to scenes, grass, model. Select the grass blade and click on open. Right now it's a very dark green color here. If we click here on the mesh, go down to surface one and click on the material here. You can see it's a very dark green. So we can do a little bit of uh, less dark green, I believe. So we can grab something here. Something like that. It's better. All right. Next. Right click the grass tile, click on add shell node and add another mesh instance and click on create. Rename this guy to ground. Click on mesh, click on new play mesh. Go down here to geometry. Click on material override. Click on new spatial material. And click here again. I go down to albedo, select the texture. Click on load, go to scenes, grass, textures, and select the grass texture.png and click on open. There we have our grass. And if you want to make it darker, you can just go here and, and fiddle around with the settings. I'm going to have mine a little bit darker, something like that. Right now, the ground is a bit too small compared to the grass. So what we can do is we go up here and find the transform. So we're going to set the scale here, change this guy to five in the X axis, five in the C axis. The grass plate is now a bit more proportional here. Next, right click the grass tile, click on add shell node and click on multi mesh instance and click on create. Rename this guy to grass tile multi mesh. Next, click here on the plus icon, click on populate surface. And the target surface is going to be the ground. And the source mesh is going to be the grass blade. Random rotation, you want this fairly high. A little bit of random tilt. Random scale of 0 0.3. And about 400 of the grass blades here. And click on populate. Well, you can redo that. You can use a few more blades. So how about another 200 of those? A little bit better. We can tweak this more later. Next, we're going to go here to geometry. Click on material override. Click on new shader material. Click here again. And click on shader, new shader. 
and click here to open the editor for the shader. First up, we are going to do a spatial shader and we're going to disable cool. That will give us a lot more grass blades to see on the screen here. So if we remove this line, you will see that half of the blades disappeared here and will pop into existence as we are rotating around here. But with this line on, it's going to be just what we want it to be. And if you find corners like this, that looks a bit weird, just click on the grass tile multi mesh again and redo the populate surface to get a bit more even spread the grass blades, like so. Let's go back to the shader. We're going to have a few variables here first. We're going to have the sway amount, which is how much the grass will sway, the sway speed, how fast the blades will sway. And we have a gradient texture that we can fill in with our gradient that we created earlier. Next, let's add a vertex function in here. And if we start with vertex dot x plus equals sine wave with the time multiply with this wave speed here. Have a look at that. You can see that they are moving around. The next thing we're going to do here is actually divide this with a thousand minus the sway amount. Okay, which has to be a zero there at the end. And we don't see a lot of motion right now. So what we can do is we can crank this up a bit. And we also need a factor here, like 10, to be able to see any kind of movement now. Now we can see that their glass plates are swaying softly there. So if you add this to like 500, you get a little bit more sway. If you look at the bottom of these guys, they are now moving around. So in order to get rid of that, we're just going to multiply with the UV dot Y which is pointing out minus one that's zero is going to move the point of swaying. So now they are standing still on the ground and swaying in the wind. Next up, we're going to add our fragment shader here. First up, we're going to add two gradient colors here. So you can see a lot of green and then a dark green here as well. So we're going to go from dark green up to light green. Then we're going to have a gradient texture here. So we're just going to grab it from the gradient texture that we are providing as a parameter to the shader and get the UV for that. And we're going to set the texture color to be the RGB of the gradient texture. And finally, we're going to mix the gradient colors and the texture color together. Like so. And now it looks very weird. That is because we have not added the gradient texture yet. So here in the shader params, you can go over to the gradient texture, click on load, go to scenes, grass, textures, and select the gradient texture and click on open. And now this looks like grass a lot better. And if it's too dark down here, we can go to the shader and we can change this value to something like 1.2. And if you want to have more dark in the bottom, you can just multiply a bit more. Like something like, something like 1.5. So depending on how strong you want that gradient to be. At the bottom of the grass. Alright, so we have now created ourselves one grass tile. So let's save this scene. Scene, save scene. And what you want to do now is take this grass tile and right click and click on duplicate. We call this grass tile 2. And double click on that guy. And in here, we're going to click on the multi mesh instance, click on populate surface, choose the ground, and choose the grass blade. And have a lot of rotation here on the random and some tilt 0 0.3, scale 1, and 600, and click on populate. So this way we get a different looking grass tile. Secondly, click on the multi-mass instance there if you haven't. 
and let's go to our geometry click here on the material and let's change the shader params here you can go with two here and another 200 on this guy something like that and now the grass is going to sway in a different speed we can even set this to 300 and now we can go on scene save scene here or press Control s Next, we're going to go to scene, new scene, create a new 3D scene. And we can call this grass chunk. And in here, we're just going to right click and instantiate both the grass tile and grass tile 2 as well. And hold down Control and drag on the arrow, and you can see it jumps with the right increments. So it's easier to set up. So we now have two different grass tiles swaying in different speeds. What we can do is actually crank these things up a bit. So we can set the sway speed here to 3 and this guy to like 500. And now it's going to sway a bit more. This guy can be a bit slower but we can still set it to 700 just to get different speeds on these guys. And save the scenes, press Ctrl S on these guys. Now as you look, they are swaying differently both of these tiles. Alright. You can duplicate the first tile. Now we can drag it to the left here. We can also rotate this to give it some other directions to sway in. Duplicate this guy again, remove it. Let's continue like this and build ourselves a nice 9x9 nine nine tile with these guys. So I'm duplicating and moving them around, placing them in different spots, like so. Take this guy and move him up. Duplicate this guy as well. Alright, so here we have a grass chunk of 9 by 9 tiles. And if we zoom in from the top, we can see that the grass texture in the bottom really sells the illusion that there's a lot more grass than what we have. Which is nice. Okay, so let's save the scene. Scene, save scene as. And call this grass chunk and click on save. You can go to the main scene now. And on the main scene, we can instance a child scene and take the chunk. And if you want, you can also duplicate these guys and make an even bigger scene with them. Alright, so let's add a camera to this guy as well. So go to the top, right click, add child node, camera. Click on create. We can click the preview here and see that we are way down in the ground. So go to transform. I'm going to move this guy up. And we can move the guy back as well. We rotate this guy a bit down as well. And we can get some better perspective of things here. So let's click on play and select the current one, which, which is the main scene. And here we have some grass swaying in the wind. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. This is a simple way to make 3D grass in the Godot engine. I hope you learned something. Please like, subscribe, and see you in the next video. <laughs>